So today what I'm going to show you is a very, very easy, low-fat vegan, no oil pizza twisties. And I'm going to walk you through all the ingredients and show you how easy this is to make. And my friend Joey from Plant Based Dads came over and wanted some ideas for his son for lunch and this was a perfect opportunity for him to see this video and to get some ideas for school lunch boxes. So let me walk you through all the ingredients and what you're going to need is you're going to need some dough and this is done with white flour. I have done this with whole wheat and I have done it with sourdough and it just doesn't taste the same as just white flour. I have a link below to my five minute artisan bread and this is the dough that I'm using for that. So you're going to need a big chunk of that. You're going to need your pizza sauce and I have a video below and it's an oil free delicious pizza sauce recipe and I'll put that below. And then for my spices I use pizza seasoning and that's what's in the spice. And I get this from my spice sage. And then I also, whenever I order anything from them, they have a little box on the side where you get a free sample. And I always pick out something that I don't usually buy or find in the store. And this time I bought pretzel salt, or I added a free sample of pretzel salt. And this is what that is, and I sprinkle this on top. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need a baking pan. Pan with some parchment paper and some flour. And we're gonna roll this out right now, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna flour my countertop, my avocado green countertop. And then I'm gonna take my dough, which I took out of the refrigerator, and it's sitting for about 30 minutes, so it's not as hard to work with. And I'm going to roll it out and as you roll it you want to just keep adding flour so it doesn't stick because I did this once and I was finished with it and it was stuck and <laughs> it wouldn't come off so that was not good and then what I do is I'm going to roll it out into a rectangle but as I'm rolling again I want to make sure that it doesn't stick so this is how I do it So this is what it should look like when it's done and you've laid it out. It's very thin. You can see it's not very thick. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my oil free delicious pizza sauce and I'm just going to add it to half of my dough here. And I'm going to spread it out just like that. to half of the dough, there. Okay, now I'm going to take the top part and I'm just going to fold it over. It does not have to be perfect. You just fold it and cover it. Okay, now you don't want to smush it because it'll come out of the sides like a jelly sandwich. And then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna cut gently an inch or so. So now you want to have your pan ready here and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to twist it one, two, and I'm going to take it and roll it right there. That's one, done. And I'm going to do this for all of them. You're going to take it gently, and you're just going to twist. It's kind of messy, just like that. I'll do another one, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. One, two, just like that. Okay, so they don't look like much now, but give them a chance. So now I'm going to take my pizza seasoning and I'm just gonna sprinkle on top whatever I want. And in this recipe, you can add anything you want in between. 
it's just going to make it a little harder to twist. So now I'm going to add the pretzel salt. And I just add a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to the side and let it sit for 30 minutes. And this makes the bread kind of rise. So they're going to be nice and fluffy and poofy. So I'm just going to put it next to my pizza over here and just let it sit for 30 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so it's been about 30, 35 minutes or so and these have risen. They're going to double in size when we take them out. So don't give up yet. Um, and I've got them in a pre, I'm going to put them in a preheated oven. It's 370 degrees. I have it on convection. So I'm going to put them in. And I'm going to put my pizza in too. And I'm going to put the timer on for the bread uh, twisties for about 30 minutes. So we'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and I'm going to take the bread sticks out. Here they are, little bundles of joy, and I'm going to let them cool, and then I'll show you what we're going to eat them with tonight. Okay, so dinner is served, and these are the delicious pizza twisties, and you can see how beautiful they look, and everybody loves them, and they can be eaten at room temperature, and the way we eat them is we take them and we dip them in our pizza sauce, or we dip them in our um, salad dressing, which is the Caesar salad dressing, and I'll put a link to that below. And I'm serving it with pizza and Caesar salad. And all the videos for all these will be in the link below. Thanks for watching.